Hi everyone, Dave here at Byerly RV in Eureka, Missouri. Today, we're gonna take a look at the 2021 East to West Alta 1900 MMK behind me. But first, I just wanna say thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already done so, please take a moment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you like our videos, give them a thumbs up and even share them, we appreciate that. You can also check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Now, back to the Alta 1900 MMK behind me. So. These guys do a great job. This is a Forest River product. So this is built by people that know what they're doing. And we're gonna see a lot of that as we go around. I always talk about how it's a lot of little things that make a difference. And there's gonna be a lot of little things on this one. So we're gonna start over on the side over here. Um, this is a small travel trailer that's not trying to be cheap. It's not trying to be inexpensive. It's trying to be out there to give you something that's a little bit nicer with more amenities than some of the other stuff comes with and still be at a competitive price. Uh, so starting with the uh, stabilizers. We have power stabilizers here, so we're not cranking our stabilizers. We also have a power tongue jack up front that we'll see in a minute. Um, this is one of the areas that, you know, first of all, a side opening slam latch door. So this is a door that has unique keys here, right? We're not sharing keys with everybody. And when we look at things like motorhomes and things like that, and we have doors that open like this and doors that open sideways, a side opening door just tends to be more friendly with loading things and stuff like that. Um, so in here, so this has a solar panel from the factory on the roof and a whole solar charging system with a controller and everything. So we'll see right here, this is the solar charge controller. The panel is on the roof where we can't see it. The sun is out today and we are currently getting a charge put into our battery automatically. This little controller right here will monitor the battery and apply a charge when necessary. Um, however, there is still a battery disconnect right here. So I do have a really nice battery disconnect to disconnect the battery if it's gonna be a while, maybe between the next usage and things like that. This compartment is one of the things that these guys do in a travel trailer, probably better than almost anybody. I've got things like an outlet up here for my power. I've got a place for cable and satellite to go in. I've got a light, obviously. I've got access to my hot and cold plumbing system. My fresh water connection is here and my uh, city water connection is here. And all those hoses and things like that come up through this convenient little hatch that has, you know, I, the little things, this little tray right here. So that if water drips, it drips into this tray and not on the vinyl, okay? Hey, you gotta hand it to them. Also, another thing here is inside, you're also going to see that we've got the various manual overrides and things like that that we might need in case we need to manually crank those power jacks or the power tongue jack. Um, not everybody sends that stuff with everything. So it's all, it's all those type of little things. That's the power tongue jack I was talking about. We've got dual propane bottles here with an auto switch over. We've got the battery on board, of course. They do a real good job up front. I mean, this is a molded fiberglass one piece cap right here. So molded like the hull of a boat type of thing, um, strong, durable. And then of course we've got some diamond plate down here to protect this area from rock chips and everything. Um, the other side of the storage compartment's a little bit bigger on this side. So we've got just even more, this is really tall too, you guys. So one thing that it's hard to see maybe if let's get all the way down here, we have what's called a drop frame actually on this travel trailer. This is what they do in big fifth wheels, you guys. They take and they drop the front of the frame to give a bigger front storage compartment. Dropping this frame gives us this huge compartment that we have in here. And from that angle, you guys can also see the tubular aluminum framework that's up inside this storage compartment. You know, this is an area where folks will still use wood and things like that, but no, these guys have carried that tubular aluminum framework that's in the wall and everywhere else into that storage compartment. That's pretty awesome, you know? Uh, speaking of awesome, this awning is awesome. Why is the awning awesome? Well, because look at how long this thing is. Awnings come in one foot increments, okay? So this is the longest awning you could have put on this trailer. Another foot would have taken it off the corner here, you know? And that's what we like to see. It covers basically everything, right? Um, on the outside here, I've got outside speakers. I have access to my cable and satellite uh, system on board, as well as an outlet. So I could set a TV here. I could even put a mount here if I wanted to. I've got a beverage refrigerator out here where I have access to my water system and the LP system down here if I wanted to put a little stove out here. On the back, we've got a ladder. I say that because not everything comes with a ladder. So we've got a nice built-in ladder because we know we need to be up there looking around just to make sure everything's okay. You know, you want to do your inspections about every three months and check the seals and things like that. Um, the reason why uh, the steps and door are closed on this one, you guys, is because, you know, this has the new nice steps that fold out. Um, but when you do that, you don't have to have a step well down here anymore, right? So what they've done actually 
is one thing is you can never have too much storage on a camper, right? So these guys at uh, East to West have taken and given us an additional storage compartment right here underneath our door. So again, every little bit helps. I, I can think of all kinds of things I could put in there. I've got my nicer entry handle here. I'm gonna open the door all the way. You guys never get to see how the steps work. So in this one, we get to see how the steps work. I'm just gonna release and they're just gonna come straight out. There we go. All right, let's check out the inside. Okay, everybody, inside the Alta 1900 MMK, there is a ton of space in this thing for the size of, of the trailer. I mean, this thing is, is huge. We're gonna see all the counter space and everything. We're gonna start right up front here. And what I'm gonna call the living room right now, but later is going to be the bedroom. Uh, but right now we've got a really nice couch. It's a long couch, which I appreciate. You can lay down on this thing. Um, we've got end tables on both sides that have top storage, underneath storage, and we've got USB and 110 outlets actually on both sides of this. Uh, that's also going to help when this becomes the bed and we're charging things at night, right? Um, theater seating. This is really nice. You guys you can see that the theater seating comes out. In our theater seating, it's in a little slide out right here, which is what is giving us all this great room in this thing. And it's directly across from what? Our TV, right? That means we're in what? A modern floor plan if you guys have watched some of the other videos but i talk about that that you know nowadays they're making a conscious effort to put seats in front of tvs so that it's like it would be like you would expect like you watch at home right um this isn't just any tv you guys uh at alta uh they are using the furion equipment here furion is a company that makes things specifically for rvs this tv it says right here durable and reliable design can withstand shock and vibration caused by any terrain whether at land or at sea these TVs are meant for things like RVs and boats where they're gonna be jostled around. Uh, not like at home where you're just hanging on the wall and never touch it again, right? We have a Furion sound bar. A sound bar, this is how you get real simulated, real simulated, real simulated surround, but you get surround sound out of this thing, not just like right and left stereo. You would do this at home if you don't have room for a huge system or didn't wanna put one in, right? Well, we've got that in here. Um, now, getting into the kitchen, first I just wanna point out the pantry space. You can never have too much pantry space, you know? And these are solid wood uh, doors and drawers on here, guys. This isn't particle board or wrapped or anything like that. Uh, this is good stuff. I've got humongous drawers. So I've got tons of counter space in my kitchen, tons of counter space. Big drawers, we know what that means, right? We can put our bigger appliances and things like that in here. We can put large pots and pans underneath the sink here. We have room for not one, but two. I could have a regular and a recycled trash can underneath here. I've got a really nice undermount stainless sink with a seamless countertop. We've got a, a uh, equally nice uh, residential faucet. That's a good one, you guys. Um, the uh, storage above, again, lots of cabinet space in this, okay? Nice stainless steel microwave. Ooh, we've got that big galley window we like to see nowadays, right? Again, modern floor plan, big galley window. Nice stove here, everybody. So this is a Magic Chef stove. So these are brands we recognize. We've got a igniter uh, that ignites top, and I believe it also ignites the oven in this. Uh, I could be mistaken, but I think so because we also have the oven light uh, as well. So um, more storage. I just keep saying more storage. I mean, how many times can you say more storage in a, in a 19 foot floor plan? Um, we've got the magic chef 10.6 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. So we've talked a lot about this before. I won't get too deep into 12 volt refrigerators at this point in time, other than the fact that it's going to, you know, it, it basically takes a combination of the old RV refrigerators with propane and electric and the newer residential only refrigerators with their capacity and the fact they don't need to be level and the fact that they get cold faster. And this does all of that and runs just off of the battery and doesn't actually have to have uh, one ten, you know, it doesn't actually have to be plugged in, but you still get the benefits of compressor driven and uh, not having to be level and getting cold quickly. Uh, lots of capacity here. This is normally what an eight cubic foot fridge would go into and this is 10.6 or three or whatever. Uh, the bathroom, first of all, okay, so I've got a sliding pocket door. You know, pocket doors, you guys, this is, if it was a swinging door, well, that would get in the way of everything, wouldn't it? It's not the cheaper way to do it, but in this case, it's definitely the right way to do it, right? Now, in the bathroom, things just, it, it again amazes me how much we're fitting into this size camper, okay? Because first of all, I've got this really, I mean, this is a humongous shower, very wide, very deep. We've got a really nice curtain here. They've even got, I always recommend if you want to do anything, you upgrade your shower head to one of these um, versus the one that it normally comes with because it just gives you a little bit nicer shower. Well, they've already done that, you know? Um, we've got counter space. This is wonderful, you guys. We've got lots of cabinet space in here. So we've got tons of storage above. We've got more storage below. 
We've got extra counter space, which we know how valuable that can be to actually be able to set things in here. And then we've got a really nice porcelain foot flush commode. So again, we're not skipping anywhere in here. On the wall, in the hallway, there's just, we do have our monitor panel, which has things like, you know, our tanks and our, we have a really nice little, um, this is to move the slide in and out. And it's actually got a little cover on it so we don't accidentally activate that, right? Um, even though we have a relatively small camper, we still have the ducted AC all the way through it. We have a nice little, digital wall thermostat on the wall to control our air conditioning and our heat. Now, I mentioned earlier that our living room is going to become our bedroom, right? So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, I noticed this too. Something I didn't see earlier is that this has recliners here as well. So we've got reclining on the couch and on the theater seating, right? There you go. Much easier to do it that way, by the way, guys. Little <laughs> a little tip on the on that now so now we're going to take this and we're going to convert this is a murphy bed okay so we're going to convert it to sleeping so time to go to bed we'll just jackknife that out like that come over here we've got a little release right here and a little release right here and that's going to allow us to just bring this forward like this and then just grab our mattress and voila, wow, this is a nice mattress, you guys. So not just, I mean, this is a little bit nicer mattress than a lot of people use, there's a little quilting on it. This is cool, nice, big, looks nice and long. We've got hanging storage on either side. And then we talked a little bit earlier about this counter space here that's next to the couch. Well, that goes even deeper back there. So even if you had something like a CPAP or something, there's, there's room for that. And I still have, okay, this is surprising actually, guys, is that I can actually still even, unfold that with the bed out. So many of these things are, are a little tight for that, you know? And I'm also noticing over here too, just a few other things is that down here by my heat duct, even more outlets. You know, there are more outlets in this trailer <laughs> than some trailers that are quite a bit bigger than this. So um, Alta 1900 MMK is our model number here. It's a 2021, like you see. Check it out at www.buyerlyrv.com. You'll wanna look there first, guys, and see what we have in stock. Uh, current pricing and everything will be available on there. Uh, pricing is very dynamic right now. You really can't lock in a price until you actually order something, unless you can find something like this that is actually already built and in stock. Um, again, if you like our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, give them a thumbs up, share them, Check us out on all the other social media channels. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.